Hello and welcome. My name is Dave Polich. I'm a longtime programmer for Yamaha and other companies. Uh, since 1991, I've done sound design for every Yamaha electronic musical product. And I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial, which explains how to load, save, and manage data to your MoX app. Okay, we're going to start with turning the MoXF on. Pretty simple. Reach over the back, push the power button on. The screen lights up. It boots rather quickly. I have a USB device connected to the USB 2 device slot in the back, so that's why you saw that USB device connecting on the screen. And then the first screen that comes up is uh, the master mode screen, and it has a master selected. And now you're probably wondering, well, where the heck is everything? So let's start with the concepts that Yamaha uses uh, to determine what sounds are what. The basic sound, a single sound in uh, the MoX is referred to as a voice. Uh, and to access voice mode, we're going to go and press under the mode area, we're going to press the voice button. And now you'll see that the first voice is listed as Everlasting Glory, which is in the user one bank. There are three user banks and nine preset banks. The voices contained in the preset banks can be edited, tweaked, changed to your liking, but they have to be stored to a location in one of the user banks. Um, you don't have to worry about whether um, a voice which is in the user bank uh, will be overwritten because it's also in the, one of the preset bank locations. So you can see at the top of the screen that we have the user one bank is come up by default. To get back to the scroll through the various banks, we go over here to the bank select button and we simply push the decrement switch or that's the backward switch if you will. And we go back through the various banks. You can see them changing. Preset 8, preset 7, preset 6, preset 5, 4, 3, 2. Now I'm at preset 1, voice location A1, which is the full concert grand. Um, now within each bank, there are eight sub banks, uh, A through H. And within each of these banks, there are 16 sounds. So now, if I want to go through the sounds in this A section of this bank, I just simply press the increment button, and that changes the voices by increments of one. You can go back, or I can simply just select the uh, number location for the next voice. So for instance, if I want to go from A1 to A2, I go over here to two and select it that way. So each sub group in this U uh, preset bank one contains 16 voices. So A has 16, A1 through 16. My next set will be B, and I go from B1 to B16. And you can see the voices change. And the next uh, group will be C, and uh, that's C1 through 16, and so forth and so on. I'm going to go back to preset 1, A1, which is the full concert grand. Now, if I want to say move to preset 2 bank, um, I simply go up, back up here to the bank select button and push the increment button, and now I'm in preset 2. Uh, again, that you can keep on pushing the increment button until you get through all the preset banks up to 9. And then when you press it past that, you start accessing the user banks, which are, there are three user banks, user one, user two, and user three. So let's go back now to preset one. Now we're back there at the first voice in preset one, A1. The next mode that uh, the Mo XF has is called the performance mode. Uh, think of the um, voices as separate books. Uh, each voice is a book. In performance mode, you can have a stack of up to four books 
uh, on top of each other, or they can be uh, the the sounds can be split or zoned so that you have a a different sound in each area of the keyboard. And performance mode can also be used to have a little like a backing situation where you just simply hit a key and a rhythm starts and then you can play over the top of it. You hear that as I change my notes, the music kind of follows along with me depending on where I'm placing my hands on the keys. To stop the playback, I simply just select another uh, performance. Alternatively, I can stop the playback by hitting the ARP button, which is over here, and turning the arpeggio off. The, uh, this is what triggers the, the automatic playback rhythm. So that's performance mode, and basically what we're going to be concerned with uh, for the rest of this tutorial is uh, voice mode and um, how to load separate voices in, uh, either single or as a bulk, and uh, the concept of what a voice is actually made up of.